we are going to be looking at erase masking in this tutorial. So open up Photoshop where we are using CC 2019. Uh, open up your images, you can drag them like we have here into Photoshop or you can just open them up manually from the pull down menu up above that says file. So first we need to make two copies of layers starting up. Uh, you can follow the shortcuts that we have on the screen. Uh, take the middle layer, select it, and knock out the color. Um, and black is the color that we need for that layer. You'll see that we have the paths done already, but for the head it's just a rough shape and no details at all. So now you, after selecting that, feather the path uh, with 0.5 pixels. Once you've done that, you need to invert it. So once you've inverted it, you need to use the background eraser tool, which you can find as we found it in the bar in the right and left. So mess around with the threshold and the tolerance. We used around 50 to 60 percent and mess around with the hardness as well so that when you start erasing the layer uh, background copy too uh, so that you get a nice see through and image and details so after you've done that take the lasso tool and cut out a nice big chunk from the area of the head making sure you get all the hair and details that you want Again, you're going to invert this. And then once you've inverted it, you delete the rest. Just simply delete that. Now deselect. So now that you've done that, make a copy of that and make a couple of more copies. So the ones in the middle, you're going to march down and the one you're going to keep on top just feather that because that'll be the one that you're going to be editing and then after you're done feathering just invert it okay so we don't actually need we didn't actually need to do that uh deselect uh, get rid of the one below. Uh, when you have the background for the background copy in the middle, just change that back to white. Uh, you can see that there are some minor adjustments required to get the hair nice and smooth and so that you don't get a fuzzy masking. So what you need to do now is and do a stroke, uh, double click on the background copy. Uh, select stroke from the layer menu that comes up and then take the eraser tool and then just start uh, wiping off the extra bits that are hanging off. Try to you know, keep the hardness where it doesn't really affect the main parts and keep the opacity to maximum. So just uh, Erase out the parts that are sticking out like this, the dust and stuff like that. Once you manage to get all those off, you'll see that the final product is a very nicely done mask. I'm just showing it here quickly so that we save time. But this will come out pretty good as well. Just sure. After you've done that, remove the effects. And then select the path with a feather of 0.5 as before. This, this time, make a copy of the background and take it to the top. And then merge those two layers. So you don't need those two. And we're basically done. You have a very nicely masked image. That's it. Thank you for watching.